welcome back to the allotment there we're all back in here and we're going to do a bit more big maintenance today to get things prepped up ready for moving slowly into the autumn and the winter and big job today dismantling this grow pod thing from greenhouse sensations it's been absolutely fantastic i couldn't recommend it enough you know what i mean if you i'll put a link onto them if you wanted to kind of use it where you, you know you do have two weeks of of water reservoir there just fantastic but this now what i'm going to do is pick all these not pick them off i'm just going to take the vines off because there's really you know the amount of crops on that plant mind you is just staggering but i'm going to just cut the vines or cut, so they're on the grapes or on the grapes <laughs> you know what i'm on about man don't you just take them home like that then get rid of this and the same with this this one as well so that is the job today well one of the jobs today should i say they've got i'll tell you what i'm going to do as well i'm going to prick out some more of this lettuce this is the the, the the four that i didn't prick out and can you just see they're just coming into play there now some oak leek nirvana so actually this is i might leave that one just for a little bit so I've went and left all my boxes at home. So I've got this tree at the moment. Which is not ideal, but it's the best I can do. I'm just going to take all these off. Get them home. Man, there's some tomatoes there. I mean, look at that. That's one kind of trust how much how many tomatoes have been on that it's hell's bells i like these ones better They've, they haven't got the nicest taste as them but they don't split you know as the the sun gold i'm fed up with them sun goals splitting so right i was always struggling getting these out but i realized you have to go like reverse with them if that makes any sense i'm not going to show you just going to if you've got these you'll know exactly what i'm on about and up to now i haven't damaged anything any of them so this is a crop just, i'll take them home can you see it's down there take them home just put them on the windowsill they'll go lovely and red and then these will just get used straight away to be honest so no waste so i'll show you if you're unfamiliar how these work it's really quite ingenious you know what i mean it's just basically if i lift this up there's a cloth there that just hangs down and you know sucks up the water to the plant and this is a like, oh, get that off if i can one handed this is like a reservoir that is actually bone dry but i've just left it because that's the thing so yeah i'm going to keep obviously you've got to keep the cloth i'll probably take them home and wash them to be honest if i'm honest so just get that it's right through the the plant I might be able to just wash it in the, in the bucket, you know, me tub. So it seems all right, to be honest. And that's just a bit of, it's almost like felt, you know, and it's just capillary action, just works. It's very simple, but it, it's such a it's time saver, you know. few little roots actually there the roots come down from the plant as well yeah I'll show you what it looks like close up you see so it's just like it's almost like a symbiont <laughs> you know like the plants are wrapping itself around the roots of it working together but like I say, it's actually, it's still damp. You know what I mean? It's still got some moisture in that soil. Oh, prized apart. This is actually, I'll tell you why. 
this is harder because this was a grafted plant so obviously the roots are way way stronger and it's just i mean look at that oh just wrapped itself around so whatever rootstock they're putting on them Bellarico tomatoes is powerful <laughs> a strong grower I suppose that'll just die all off but it's, I don't want to put that through the washing machine actually this is the one that was just a normal tomato rootstock and that seems fine to be honest I'm not. this is the one that's just binded into it I mean it'll die off and come back I'm stowing them around here. Just put the, the cloth, forgot to bring the cloths and put the cloths in. But I tell you what, just let us do this and I'll show you. I made a mistake with actually they'll do the same thing if I don't turn it upside down. Just tuck them under there. But look at I never thought all the rain. And them bulbs, remember them bulbs? I was keeping the daffodil bulbs from my mum's earlier this year. I'm just going to sling them all. It just stinks, to be honest. It smells exactly like just cow slurry, you know, from a farm. So there's that bucket there, and actually I've got some water there. If I can just... Get that one handed. Give that a bit of a rinse. Right. There. Oh, what a stink. So, what I'm going to do, I'm not at this moment taking out the other one. Not yet, because we've still got like. Cucumbers galore, to be honest, man. <laughs> Actually, there's another one up there. There's one there. Need a little bit of a thin out anyways, which I might do. So I've made a little bit of room there. But I'm going to... It's all go at the garden. I've got some... I'll show you there. Some bok choy, purple lady, it might be called. I'm going to prick that out and get that going as well but that's safe yes can you see us there I'm gonna I'm gonna use <laughs> the wheelbarrow as a table the perfect height I've got a few other things so I'll do them now and then come back <laughs> Okay, change of plan, as it always is. This is the freckles one. And I'm just going to put it straight in the ground, to be honest. I'm putting it in a tiddly little thing there. I'll just put a couple of rows if I can along there. I'm going to put these little gem in as well, I think, while I'm here. Get rid of that. Nice little root on there, so hopefully they'll be all right. While I'm on with them little gem, I'm just going to put the last of them just in here. I think just to, that'll not take up any harm probably get a, a crop 
they'll probably do better out here than they will in there. So it's all about at least trying to get a crop. Right, give them two of water. I think I've actually got the... Have I got the horse pipe on? No. <laughs> there we go, that's better. So, I need the freckles to come, but the little gem, actually the little gem have got good roots on them, so we'll just, we'll see. The other ones seem to be going, but like I say, I'm up here every day giving them a water, and they don't like the heat that much. You know what I mean? So I left been leaving the, the polytunnel door open. So along with the little gem that I've planted outside there, I've put some of that, you remember what I was calling big spice? I've just the spare ones. I might as well just put them in. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> See, they're probably, that condition of that soil is probably way better outside. So I might as well just actually make space. You can see I'm getting a bit kind of crowded here. This is the Amaze and there's the Marvel of Four Seasons. I'm going to just take these out and get them planted. Right. Just bung them in anywhere, to be honest. It's not like, you know, it's gardening 101. Now though, where can I? <laughs> Are we meant to? Where can I put them? Sorted man, well, yeah, it's just in there. I'll pick them before they get that big. Right, see, and even if they give them to the slugs. <laughs> there we go then, little, little water, or a big water, should I say. Even if they just go for the compost. <laughs> but like I say, I've got a feeling these will go better than the other ones because when this door shut in the night time it gets, still gets warm in the polytunnel so well I've had enough there I think that's I haven't done the jobs that I meant to do but I've just need to get sidetracked but it's I'll pick up that little thing I'll have to come back for all this tidy it up but it's all looking good let's see if I can keep that going Right, look after yourselves, take good care.